All right, y'all, welcome to it. This is uh, the Yukon Phil single shot number two. And uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, G.I. Joe Classified uh, Alley Viper. And y'all, I got to tell you, this is one of my favorite figures that I've picked up this year, if not my favorite figure. This dude is awesome, y'all. And there's a lot of reasons why he's awesome, uh, which we're going to cover. But uh, one of the best things about this figure is not only his look, but the amount of accessories that he comes with. I was going through them and I can't, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, at least six, six, not including his backpack. So that'd be seven, seven accessories, y'all. Uh, you know, most of y'all probably in the Black Series or whatever, most of the time you get one, maybe two accessories if you're lucky with the Black Series figure, y'all. So having a figure that looks this good, um, come with that many accessories, really cool. So let's, uh, let's kind of look at him. Let's take a look at just kind of how he looks so far. Look at that sculpt. That face sculpt looks fantastic, y'all. I think that looks really good. Really awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at his weapons first one that he comes with is this right here this is kind of like let's go ahead and try to focus this is kind of like a little bit of a crossbow kind of thing i'm not sure i don't really have him using that one so he's got that he's got a bit of a submachine gun here that's a cool one I, I do like that i don't have him actually holding that one now but that is a very cool weapon i do like that and then everything else he kind of has all holstered up so let's go ahead and take it out he comes with a pistol there's his pistol Comes with his bigger gun. There's the bigger gun right there. Very good sculpt work. Not a lot of paint, but that's okay. I don't think paint's really necessary on these. Comes with his knife. Just slides up in his sheath up there. There's a knife. Y'all can see that pretty good. And he's going to get his shield off his hand real quick. Now his backpack. Cool looking backpack. Got a nice Cobra symbol there and some grenades. That looks really awesome. And let me see if I can get his shield off his hand real quick. There's his shield. Let's tone that back. Awesome Cobra logo on that, y'all. Great paint. No issues. As far as paint goes, he is super crisp and super clean. That shield looks great. This part right here, which I thought was cool, this even turns. Usually on a lot of shields, you'll get a static holster for their arm. This one actually moves. So that's really cool, y'all. Very awesome. I give that shield an A+. plus. But you got a nice little uh, uh, crosshairs on there, which looks awesome. So let's take a look at the figure a little more. Now, he does come with his visor. His visor can go down. I think that's a great look, but I do like to have him with the visor up just a little bit. And uh, looking at his... Well, we won't go over his articulation too much. We can just really quick. Like, so his arms do go up. He's got double-jointed... Uh, elbows and actually missed a weapon there's uh another place for a knife so he's got that uh he's got good rotation in his arms his head moves pretty good y'all i like the way he, he moves on his head it goes up and down real good he can look down good looks up good all that look at his knees real quick he bends at the knees really well y'all can see that there we go his ankles move really well i mean his articulation really now he doesn't get a lot of move in the, the one downfall of this figure y'all he doesn't get a lot of move in the torso just due to the way he's sculpted. He's got like this flak jacket on. So you're not going to get a lot of move out of the torso. That's the one hindrance and the one negative I have to say about this figure is that you're just not getting a lot of uh, move in the waist. So that's that's really too bad. As far as other articulation goes, the legs, he can do the splits. That looks really good. And, you know, I mean, he is a solid figure, y'all. I know he's a little tough to get, but it seems like he's been a little bit easier of late. But uh, if you have a chance, y'all, UConn's going to go and give him a 9 out of 10. I, I love it. I love the way he looks. Um, the reason he's not a perfect figure is because of that flak jacket, and they weren't able to articulate that. So that does hinder movement a little bit, y'all. But uh, the amount of accessories and the way he looks and the overall aesthetic of the figure is phenomenal. So uh, this guy is UConn approved, y'all. He is a 9 out of 10. If you get a chance, if you see him, pick him up. I'm actually looking for maybe one or two more. That's how much I like him. So uh, hopefully this review is helpful. If you can get him, do it. And we'll see y'all in the next single shot. Y'all have a good one. Talk to you later. Sign out, y'all.